Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well today. In today's video, I'm sharing a Jean Hall Spring 2023. This has been highly requested. I did have two tr like denim hauls that I shared on my channel last spring. Um, some were items that were brand new, new pairs of jeans, and then other my tried and true that I wear all the time. In today's video, I kind of have just one video and I'm consolidating. I, I do have some new arrivals, but I also included some of my favorite jeans that I do pull from all the time. My measurements, as usual, are linked down below in the description box. Anything I feature in today's video is also linked down below. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Brittany and Courtney, and then you can also shop everything that I share on a daily basis, even in my Instagram stories and TikToks, over in the free LTK app. Follow me there, super easy to shop. But I wanna hop right into today's video. I think it's gonna be a little lengthy. I did keep, I didn't really style everything up. I have a basic top on with every single, with most of them. Um, I really just wanted to speak through the jeans, the fit, the fabric. I did order a couple brands that I don't shop from because I had asked you guys over on Instagram if there were certain brands. So Wrangler and Lee came up. I didn't have much success with Wrangler at all, but I did want to make sure that I had ordered some denim in that you guys had sent over that you wanted me to try. Of course, in this haul, no surprise, Abercrombie jeans. I love Abercrombie, especially their curved love line. So you'll see lots of that. A Goldie, um, Lee, Free People, Levi's, Ragged Priest, show me your moo moo. Quite a few different styles, quite a few different fits, and I hope this is really helpful for you girls as you shop. Again, my measurements are listed down below. I'm typically size six, size eight. I have a curvier build, more of an hourglass shape, smaller waist, that's why I love the Curve Love line because they have a two inch, added two inches to the hips, which is what I need. I carry my weight, my hips, butt, and thighs, but I have a smaller waist, so I love that line for that. Um, but hopefully this is just helpful as you girls shop. Of course, leave me any comments, any questions at all. Let me know what you think, all that, and let's get right into it. Okay, this first pair that I wanna talk about, this is the Curve Love Ultra High Rise 90 Straight Jean. I did get this in a size 28.6, which is my usual size in the Curve Love line. I'm typically in between the 28 and the 27, but these are the 28.6 long. So at Abercrombie, their long seam is typically 33 inches. And I've expressed in a lot of my other videos, I'm not sure why I'm 5'5", but I feel like I'm really gravitating towards a longer fit. I think these work really well with sneakers or heels. I absolutely love that you can really decide and then cut them because they are a longer length. They do have this cutout detail here in the back. I really like this. I was expecting it to be kind of right under the cheek, but it's a little bit further down, which I think is more flattering and will just be more comfortable to wear. This is my favorite wash from Abercrombie, a light wash. You'll see that I kind of stick in a, in a light or a light medium shade. Personally, I don't like dark denim on me, especially photographed. I think they just really accentuate. Um, but I know some people absolutely love their dark denim. But for me, I just don't. I typically gravitate towards that, towards lighter washes. I love with Abercrombie, you kind of see like where a label would go. And it's just like a stain of the dye. So I absolutely love that. And I do want to mention with these, they are definitely much slimmer in the calves. So if you're someone that doesn't really like their calves or you don't like that they're tight, they are definitely much more slim to the calves. 99% cotton, 1% elastane. I just, I think these are really cute. I love this cutout detail. Um, something really different. Okay, I do wanna point out, I'm not going in any particular order, just truly random order here. This next pair of jeans, also Abercrombie. I am wearing a size 28.6 long in the Curve Love line. Again, very typical for me. What I absolutely love about these is this carpenter detail. They kind of like have this cargo carpenter carpenter vibe. Um, this pocket here, if you can see kind of like the detail in the pocket. I absolutely love those details. I don't have anything like this. There's a two inch difference in each inseam. So this pair of jeans actually is carried an extra short, short, regular, long, and then extra long. Um, so two inch differences there. Again, I'm wearing the 28.6 long in this. I really love this detail. I think this is really cute with some white sneakers. You'll see style throughout this haul. Um, I wear a lot of my Nike Air Force Ones. I think they're the classic go-to sneaker. If you are somebody that's wanting to get into wearing sneakers with jeans, hands down, those are definitely my top recommendation because I feel like they they just absolutely go with everything. They're not too wide of a shoe, nor are they too narrow, because sometimes I think like a narrow white sneaker doesn't work well with denim like this, or like trendier denim, or just even like a baggier denim. So I just love those because I feel like they're just so flattering on everyone and go with any of the, any of these jeans. 
Um, this is a medium wash, and of course, this exact style, this um, the 90s relaxed jean high rise, comes in probably about 12 different colors, including faux leather as well. Okay, in this jean haul, I actually have the short alls, overalls, and jean shorts. So I'm kind of trying to cover the basis here, but these are the Ziggy short alls, and I absolutely love them. They also come in some corduroy options. I order through Free People, free shipping, free returns. You can kind of find these. They are Free People. The brand's Free People, but you can find them in like other retailers. But if you order directly from Free People, you have free shipping and free returns. I think over like $100, which isn't really hard to do. Um, and anyways, there's lots of color options, definitely different denim washes, including a black, and then also some corduroy options. I have tried several now, different colors and like the corduroy as well. And I have found that I'm a medium or a large. I'm again, kind of in between. I think it really depends on the intention. Like if you're wanting something tighter on your butt, or if you are going with the short alls, overalls, and you want them looser, I don't think you can go wrong with being that size up. These are 100% cotton and they are priced at 88 dollars um i love this bottom detailing here the cuff they are such a great length honestly i'm not a big fan of shorts even denim shorts i don't wear a lot of it because i feel like with a bigger butt it just ends up like everything rides up my butt and it's just too short and i just don't like it but with these these are like a really great length i think these are really cute thrown over your swimsuit you can wear a little crop top underneath this you can wear a simple tank top like full length or crop and pair it back with sneakers sandals um, even like little boots, Converse. I think there's so many different ways to style this up. And I think it's cute too, even with like a long sleeve. So like as you transition into like a spring, the spring season and warmer weather, I think this with like the long sleeve and sneakers or even boots, really cute. So again, lots of different options and I wear a medium or a large one. I had ordered this pair of Lee's in and they are definitely a flared bottom, a little bit wider of a bottom. Um, they are a high rise fit and they are very, very comfortable. I had ordered a 30, which is a 10. I was not sure whatsoever on sizing and like Levi's I size up so I just went ahead and size up but they are definitely way too big I should have definitely gotten the size 29 they are 98% cotton 2% spandex I'm getting I'm 5'5 five five. I think if you're taller these are going to be too short for you you would have to find like a longer length I know I had ordered this from free people and there weren't different inseams so keep that in mind you might have to actually go to lee.com um, again, I just paired that back with my simple bodysuit and white sneakers, but I think this would be really cute with like a little pair of boots as well, little booties. Um, they're a really nice material. I like the wash of them, definitely like a medium wash. And of course you have the classic Lee branding here on the back. Um, so again, just a really nice pair, definitely have, has stretch in them. If you are somebody that likes denim with stretch, this is going to be your pair versus maybe some of the Abercrombie ones that are a little bit more rigid and more cotton based. They're not going to stretch as much. Now, another high rise flare jean that I recently shared, I shared in my free people haul. So if you are like looking, I, I have a couple of things from free people here. And if you're interested in more, I recently did do a free people new arrivals haul here on my channel. So I'll leave that link down below. I'm also going to number all of these jeans, you guys. So when you're shopping, you're like, oh, I like number two or I'm not interested in number three. That way you can just go straight down into the description box and click on like outfit number three. So hopefully that's helpful because I know I kept my top like the same throughout for most of them. And so um, as I'm speaking, hopefully that'll be helpful and I'll put the timestamp too. So hopefully it just helps you guys navigate the video and shop more easily. Um, but the pair that I shared in my free people haul, they are the Jade Flare. Now I had ordered size 29 in them, definitely a high rise. The color I got was sunburst blue. And they also come in a darker color, but I like that medium dark. I like that medium wash. So I went for that. I had ordered 29. I definitely need a 28. I felt like there's just extra room in my waist and that those jeans have amazing stretch. So again, if you're like, if you're someone that likes more stretch denim, definitely check those out, but they are a high rise and you can kind of see that I paired it back with the free people bodysuit. Love that. I think that's just like such a great basic. That's a perfect top to always like grab for dates, um, going out with the girls, whatever. It's just like a really good basic top. That is still in stock and comes in several colors. Um, but you can see here like how I styled more of those flare bottoms with like a pointed booty. I think that really elongates your legs. So that's always a great 
flattering choice in my opinion um but definitely like those they're just a really great pair of stretch denim as well okay, a denim brand that i've always been drawn to and I, i've seen like on a lot of girls is a goldie um they are definitely like a more premium denim brand abercrombie ranges around a hundred dollars free people same free people is around 88 to 100 um, but a Goldie is definitely around the $200 price point and upwards. I finally splurge on these after seeing them forever. This asymmetrical cross, like crisscross top here. Now Abercrombie has since come out with a similar version or like this crisscross detailing. So if you're not wanting to splurge, I would definitely check that out. I will leave that linked below, but truly I got these a few years ago. And at the time, this crisscross detail was just like very new. No one else was doing it. And also the jeans overall were baggier. So a few years ago, I was like looking for that. I do really, really like them. The denim quality is premium. You can instantly feel that it's a really nice material like it's soft it does not stretch a goldie jeans that i am aware of i've tried several they have like very little stretch to them but this one i will say is soft it's not like stiff it's definitely like a softer material i had a size up i believe i had a size up to a 30 in these maybe even a 31 you guys unfortunately that's i don't know the tags on in here I think it's not in here because I had to get this whole back restitched. So basically I had to size up, I think two sizes and then get the whole waist taken in. And I have to do that sometimes. I have another pair that I'll show you here. You can't really see it. Um, if you go to someone good, you can't really see it. But on the inside here, you can obviously see, I think they took the tag out and then this is the, the, the seam. So, um, it's just because again, I have that smaller waist and kind of like see here a little bit. It's just because I have that smaller waist. One thing to note when you, if you are looking at having like your seamstress take something in, um, one thing to be aware of and they should obviously know is that they still have to be able to be pulled up over your hips. So again, my hips wider. And so this isn't like the snuggest fit to my waist because there's no stretch to this. So you have to be able to pull it up and on, right? So just keep that in mind. I do really love these. Again, I'm, ha I mean, I'm happy I got these because they are truly a different style and an overall different fit with the crisscross. And then um, I love these with like anything tight, like a bodysuit, a long sleeve that's tight. Um, definitely like a something that's tight or cropped. So I like crop with this and sneakers. I think these are just like, that's a really cute look too. I definitely love a Goldie jeans. I want another pair. I keep seeing this nineties, like ripped jean pair um, over and over again. I might order those in actually. I get them from Revolve typically. You, you can get a Goldie from multiple places, but I keep seeing them and I love them and I think they're the right distress and the right color. So I might get them, but I know that I will have to get the additional waist taken in. I'll size up probably twice and then get the waist taken in. I think if you're a slimmer build, probably true to size. I mean, I would just read reviews. I just know for me, like being curvy, absolutely have to size up at least twice. Okay, I feel like everyone needs a really good pair of white jeans in their wardrobe. And I absolutely love these ones. These are definitely, these ones are a couple years old. They are the Abercrombie Curve Love Line 90 Straight Ultra High Rise, and these are 28.6 regular. I did, if you've watched my last few hauls, I have shared um, a newer version that I got in that kind of has like a pin tuck seaming detail in the front. I do really like them. I just love these ones and I don't need to. So I did go ahead and return them, but they are very similar in fit and of course, very similar in color. I love this vintage off-white cream that Abercrombie does. I think it's beautiful. I don't love as much of a stark white. I think that this color on denim just always looks more elevated and looks more expensive and just it's just like a more flattering color in my opinion. So I really, really love these. I love white denim and I will leave them linked below because they have this exact style. Um, they're just like a little bit different, but I wanted to mention them because I think, you know, this pair or that pair, obviously a really good option. I had also ordered in a taupe color pair and I was so excited for them. If you've watched my hauls, I like had ordered them and then reorder them. I tried them in like a 28.6 long, 28.6 regular, a 27.4, um, a 27.4 long. I had tried all of them and I don't know what it was, you guys. I feel like I was just super bloated. I just didn't love any of them. So I did send them back. I am on the hunt though, because I would really like a taupe pair. I feel like I wear a lot of neutrals and I love that monochromatic kind of look. So I will be on the hunt. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below. Um, but they are also a very similar fit. For some reason, I just 
didn't love it that time that I had ordered, but I will leave those linked down below as well. This pair is from Levi's. I love that it's Levi's. I feel like it just lends so well with the overalls. It's kind of like this vintage feel. Um, I mean, I just think overalls are cute. So I've worn this with a long sleeve underneath and then a flannel on top, a flannel tied around my waist, some lug sole boots, sneakers, Converse. Um, I just love the casual nature of this. Again, I had ordered this in a size large as well as a medium. I did keep the medium. I feel like it was just a little more flattering against my butt. Obviously a little bit baggier here at the top like you would expect, but then the medium just kind of like hit my butt a little bit more than a large. So I would say probably order your true to size um, with these. And I will leave a couple options because I did find these on Amazon and I do believe they're still in stock. The color that I got is like a medium wash and it comes with like a little bit of a distressed detailing here. I just cup them. I think they look better that way. Um, but regular length, they would probably, I'd have to probably wear like sandals with it if I was going to uncuff them. I think the cuff is just more flattering with boots or Converse or sneakers. Okay, I truly say this every year. I am shocked that Abercrombie hasn't increased their prices on their jean shorts. They do a great collection of jean shorts. I would know because I believe shorts don't fit me. I've always struggled with that. Again, having a bigger butt, like it's hard to find a length and a fit that just works. I don't want anything like up my butt and I don't want them like too baggy that then they hit low, you know? So anyways, I was so thrilled when Abercrombie came out with their Curb Love line in shorts. So these are a couple years old, but they do bring them back every year. These are the mom short high rise in the Curb Love collection. You can get them not curb love. Again, the curb love just comes in. They have two inches, an inch on each side. You figure of your hips for more room, but comes into the waist. So anyways, with any sh jean shorts, I do size up one time. With these ones, I size up again. So these are 3010. I just honestly prefer them that way. I feel like they, feel, they still fit snug enough to the waist but i do feel like when i get up i'm able to easily pull them like just pull them right down and it's just way less of a hassle than i feel like anything that's too tight you're like pulling both legs i don't want to do that i just want to be comfortable and so anyways i size up and i absolutely love them again the the label die here on the back i absolutely love obviously very stressed distressed at the bottom here these are very worn in but of course with abercrombie these comes in loads of different colors washes and um, like style, I know they have one with like a cuff that's really cute, similar to the Free People Ziggy short alls that I just shared with y'all. But I wanted to mention these because yeah, if you're a curvier build and you know, I know a lot of you follow me because of my size, I definitely, definitely recommend these ones then. And I would just go ahead and size up. I do feel like you might just have to, like I feel like for shorts at least, you definitely have to order multiple sizes and just see what you feel most comfortable in, whether that's one size up or two. Um, again, I'm someone that's like how it fits and how you feel is everything and the actual size, the tag, no one sees that. So just get the pair that makes you feel good and fits you the best. Okay, and then here is just like a solid version of the Curve Love of the Abercrombie Curve Love, the 90s relaxed jean high rise. I'm wearing a size 28.6 regular in these. I just love, sometimes it's just nice to have like obviously the your favorite color, this is my favorite denim color. So just have a, a solid version of this, no distressed details, no holes. I think sometimes with just certain tops, it just looks better, um, especially if you go with more of a printed top and then some pointed booties or wedges. I think these are just like honestly a great pair. Again, I did get this regular length in this, so I think that's a 33 inch seam. Um, double check me though, because I know some people are really particular about their inseams and clearly I sometimes get regular length and sometimes a long length, depending on how I'm gonna style them up. These are a great pair of sneakers, heels, whatever you wear, these look great. You can always cuff them on the bottom. Um, just a really nice pair. They are true to the other pairs that I've shared from Abercrombie. They have a little bit of stretch, but they are not a stretch denim like I shared of the Free People in the Lee flares. So keep that in mind. They are definitely more of a stiffer wash, which I just like. I think they're more supportive in the butt, the stomach, and hips. I personally just gravitate towards denim that's a little bit... I don't want to say stiff because this is very soft. I'm very comfortable in Abercrombie jeans like for hours on end. So don't let that <laughs> alarm you or anything. I have to share this jumpsuit. I got this jumpsuit in from Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I believe the size I got was a medium. I did, yeah, a medium. Okay, perfect. Tough. 
tags still intact. I had to take it to the seamstress though. Definitely had to get quite a lot of length cut off. That's kind of true. I'm noticing of show me your moo moo, the brand in general. I feel like if you're tall, you would love them because the lengths are always significantly longer. And again, I'm five, five. So I thought this was just really cute. And then it has like a little belt that goes in through here, but just really flattering. This is definitely a stretch denim pair, uh, jumpsuit, super comfortable. I would say order true to size. If you're in between sizes, you could probably even size down. Now with this, because it's a little bit lower cut, I wear my favorite adhesive sticky bra. And then I think I could probably even wear a regular bra that just gives you definitely more of an oomph <laughs> to your chest. And sometimes I like to do that. Sometimes I think it looks really nice. And then um, this, I would style it up with pointed little booties and maybe even a hat. Um, definitely like kind of like a very good Nashville kind of vibe, um, a little bit country western, but I'm j I just feel really comfortable in this. And this is absolutely something I would wear out here, you know, in, in Laguna Beach, out here in Orange County and at the beach and stuff too. So wanted to share this if you're looking for a little denim option, highly, highly recommend this. And I do like the dark wash on this. I think that goes really nicely and I feel really good in it. Okay, and then we have the Free People Maggie jeans. Um, I've had these for several years, honestly, probably five or six years at this point. Um, they come in loads of different colors. They are definitely a cropped jean for sure. And I really love the heavy distressing here in the knees. I just really like that. I did size up, I believe, I think I size up to a 30 in these, but don't quote me on it because the tags on in here, they had to, um, I had to get the waist taken in severely, like even through uh, halfway through here in the butt area. So they just kind of like cut it and then stitch it over. And you know, so the waist fits snug to my waist. Um, I really, really love this pair. It definitely has a more worn wash feel to it, which again, I feel like free people does the absolute best. I'm always saying that here on my channel, like free people just, it's like, you put everything on and you're like, ah, like it feels like you've worn it and loved it for years. And I love that about free people. So the jeans are the same, at least this pair, um, this Maggie pair. And uh, yeah, really, really like these. I think these are really cute with sneakers. I've worn them with booties. I like cropped. Um, if you're not someone that loves it, then I'd probably go ahead and skip on these. But I do think these look nice with like a little of this heeled sandal as well as just regular sandals, sneakers, um, boots, Converse, all of that. <laughs> This pair is out of stock and has been out of stock. I cannot find a similar pair either at the moment, but this brand is the Ragged Priest, and I 1000% bought this pair of jeans truly because of this checkered print color. Um, I think this is very Southern California. I absolutely love wearing these. These are not my favorite fabric whatsoever. They are definitely rigid, definitely like more stiff, um, not so soft to be honest, but I really just, I mean, I bought these for the print. I think this is so freaking cute and don't have anything like it. Again, the brand is Ragged Priest. You can find them from Free People, which is where I had ordered these. You can also find them on ASOS. Um, you can kind of find them, but they haven't come out with like a checkered print like this. The only place I'm seeing checkered denim right now is from Shein, and I don't really shop there, and if I did, I would not fit the pants, to be honest. I don't think I would, unless they have dramatically changed their quality fabric or fit it, like sizing. Um, but I did really love these and just wanted to mention them because um, I do get asked about these from time to time. I think they're just so loud and fun and just different. I've worn this with the swimsuit top. I think that looks really cute. And I've also worn this with um, like a crop top to go with it and sneakers. So really fun. Just wanted to quickly mention they are not in stock though. All right, then my Levi's. And I'm bummed because I had wanted to order. Some of you had mentioned over on my Instagram stories that I need to try the Levi's wedgie, wedgie. I had thought I placed this order and I literally just figured out that I had not. I, every day I've been like, I wonder where my Levi order is coming. And uh, you know, I order a lot, you guys, so I can share a lot. And uh, yeah, I didn't place the order. So anyways, some of you had commented in or DM me, responded to my poll on Instagram stories that I should definitely try the wedgie. These are the Levi rib cage and I absolutely love these jeans. I, they're several years old and they have 1000% changed their rib cage style, like how it fits. So many of you responded that, that you found that to be true too. These are a size 29 and the inseam is 27 seven on them. They are a rib cage straight. That's what they're called. I have ordered five, six different rib cage straights from different retailers, Levi rib cage straight and none of them fit. And in fact, the, from the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year, I had shared that they went on sale and then I went to try them on and I couldn't even fit two sizes up and I haven't really like changed, you know? I mean, not 
I don't know. <laughs> I haven't changed dramatically. I actually feel like I'm going down. I've lost a little bit of weight. So I'm like, I'm just bummed about that because I love how these fit. I love the crop length, the 27 inseam. This Levi's, like the butt detail, the pocket, everything's so Levi's and I love that. Um, so just bummed that they don't fit. But you, girl, you girls had commented and said to definitely try the Levi's wedgie. So I will try to do that soon. If you're looking to shop Levi's, um, I will leave those linked down below. But if you're a curvier build like me, I would definitely try the wedgie per everyone else's recommendation. And then if you wanted to try the rib cage, I would honestly order two sizes up. If you are bigger in your hips, butt, and thighs, I would order. Yeah, I would definitely size up. Okay, my black denim pair that I love here. These are the Abercrombie & Fitch size 27 for regular. They are the 90s baggy low rise. They are curve love style. I absolutely love these. Um, they are completely clearance, very few sizes left. I have these also in a solid light wash too, so the knees aren't blown out in them. I absolutely love them. I do think Abercrombie will bring them back, you guys, so just keep watch, and of course, I'll let you know over in the LTK app, free app download, follow me there. I post the, in there daily. Everything that I share on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that goes in there. But I just really love how this, I just really love this style. It's definitely not a low rise. It's definitely more of a mid rise. I'm super comfortable in this with the hips that I have. I don't like low rise on me at all. So not really sure whether I did call it a low rise and I know it's kind of across the board. Um, any girl that I, I've seen talk about these, they're like, it's definitely a mid rise, maybe even like a little bit of a high rise. I would recommend sizing down. I did, um, I got a 27, which is a four. So I definitely sized down in these, which again, I'm in between sizes. And I really want to point out the black wash here. I really like that it's a worn, kind of like a lighter black wash. Again, I don't like black jeans, like dark black jeans or dark jeans in general. So I definitely like that this has like a more worn wash, a little bit of a gray tone to it. It just looks like it's been washed. The dye has been washed out like several times. So I, I love that. And so I'll leave these linked down below even though they're clearance with some of the other styles that I've shared with you today. Again, like I've said before, lots of washes, lots of varieties, and I think there are another black pair like in the mix. Now I did try two Wrangler styles here and my friend actually works for Wrangler in, Green, in Greensboro, North Carolina and uh, she had told me to size up if, there were, if they weren't stretch, if there weren't any stretch them, if they were mostly cotton based to so go ahead and size up. I did size up to a 30 in both of these and cannot pull them up over my butt at all. <laughs> so I would have definitely had to size up. I would imagine I'd have to size up again, maybe even twice and get the waist taken in. Um, obviously I just have so many other options that I love so I won't keep these and I won't reorder them but I did just want to mention them because I know they are top sellers so this one here is the high rise 603 um, obviously you have the little pocket detailing there with the W the Wrangler and then the tag I think they're really nice this is a straight pair so if you're someone that likes a more straighter pair like the Levi's I just shared um, I think these would be a good option for you to definitely like a really nice medium wash comes in several colors the feel of it is very nice it's not too soft but it's definitely like more stiff how I like it um, so yeah, a good option I think, but definitely if you're curvier, I probably would say like the Curve Love line would be a better option for you from Abercrombie, or you would have to size up and then just get the waist taken in. And when I get my waist taken in, you guys, I feel like it's around $20 at the same store. It's nothing crazy, so if you love it, I definitely think it's worth it to just pay to get things altered if you absolutely love something. And then these ones are the Wanderer. They are high rise flare, super flare. They're the, um, number 622 so definitely like super flare again i just feel like the free people jade flare and then the lee's flare are very similar and i would just go that route versus this but wanted to mention these i just literally could not literally pull them up over my butt at all and then last of the jeans that i have on they're super old i do show them from time to time but it was before they even had the curve love line so i actually had to size up and get the waist taken in but there are the 90s ultra high rise straight and i love that they have the knee pulled the knee ripped out but again the styles that i've shared that are in stock they have like options with distressing and knees blown out so of course also find very similar pair link down below in the description box okay girls that's it for my jean haul spring 2023 i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please please be sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already each and every single one of you who hit, take the time to do that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave me a comment if you need anything at all. I always respond. If there's certain pair of jeans that I should have tried, 
Um, leave comment that down below. I'm happy to do another one here in a couple months or something. Um, yeah, but just always, I always love your guys' feedback and opinions. So definitely share that down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope to see you really soon in my next one.